Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Glock killer is an overused term. It has been said so many times, other people have said it, I've said it, and Glock is still around. But what is a Glock killer actually? Does it mean that the, the handgun's going to sell more than Glock and put Glock out of business? No, but the handgun that is a Glock killer is superior, and that's what's in this case right now. I truly believe this. I believe this handgun is superior to Glock. It is made by Bull Armory, and everything that you would put additional onto a Glock is already included. with an MSRP that is very attractive. And what are we talking about? We're talking about the Bull Armory Axe FS full size hatchet. I am extremely impressed with this because it has an MSRP that is so competitive that I, I truly believe this is a Glock killer. If you look at the features, I'm going to bring a Glock out here. I'm going to show you the differences, but it comes in this nifty case here. The same case that is offered with the TAC four and a quarter. Okay, it's got the lock in there. Two 17 round magazines, owner's manual, nylon brushes, patch tool kit, everything else, chamber flag in this nice case. But the Axe FS full-size hatchet is a nice handgun. 4.49 inch barrel. This would mimic the size anyways of a Glock 17. It wouldn't mimic a Glock 17 because it actually offers more. Check out that grip. It has a 1911 grip angle. That's one of the biggest complaints about Glock is that the extended grip angle going this way is tough to align the sights. This has a 1911 grip angle and... 17 round magazines now the mags are glock interchangeable this is a bull armory mag but it looks very identical to a glock mag with the exception that it has this lip here now what does that do it has an integrated flared mag well but in this you notice that cut out there and then that lip is right there if the mag gets stuck you have actually real estate that is serrated on there to rip that mag out if needed it comes with two mags the grip texturing on the 1911 grip angle is very sharp people pay a lot of money for grip texturing with glock handguns you don't have to hear it comes out of the case right there even with the memory bumps little gas pedal right there it flares out a bit and it does have more aggressive texturing on the front strap and the back strap there's the flare for those quick mag changes has an undercut in the trigger guard a squared trigger guard much room there for a glove you may notice it has the extended slide stop lever that is additional with glock as well as the take down levers it has three dot steel sights they are steel and they are Glock interchangeable. So once again, it mimics the 17. It, in my opinion, is superior. A full Picatinny reel there and check out those slide serrations all throughout, sort of like scallops all throughout. And there's the gas pedal on this side. It doesn't stick out too far, but enough to consider it a thumb rest or a memory area right there texturing there is more like a memory bump and if you look at the muzzle end you'll see the slide is cut out right there okay it's got a pvd coated slide and there it says axe fs now you ask about the hatchet well the bull armory cleaver was replaced by the hatchet series and you can see why it's just a fine looking handgun i'm going to get to the trigger an extended magazine release all right so you don't have to change the grip angle and a 4.49 inch barrel they all come optic ready with a direct mount with an rmr footprint so i have a holosun 407c on here and it is aligned perfectly now let's talk about the trigger it has an all aluminum trigger does have that trigger safety tab in there it's a flat face trigger 
and it breaks right around three and a half pounds. Check that out with a reset right there. That's another thing that so many people do. They change the sights, they change the grip texturing, they put a slide stop, extended takedown levers, magazine release, trigger, uh, even additional barrels on Glocks, and this is included all in one, plus some. Has a stainless steel guide rod. All right, we'll take a look at that right there. And then a very nice trigger. Now, when I took this to the range, it was pretty awesome. I really fell in love with the gun after I got the 407C sighted in. Let's do a quick comparison with the Glock 45. I don't have a 17 to compare it to, so we'll use the Glock 45 versus the Axe Hatchet. Full size. We'll take a look at the grip angles. You can see that goes a little more of an angle here 1911 grip angle here take a look at the stippling with the hatchet versus the glock all right we'll get it so that the camera can pick that up we can look at the magazines you heard me mention that the axe hatchet has this lip on here and there it is you can see the difference there if we look at it this way you can see it has that lip on there. It sticks out a little bit. It is serrated. And the Glock 17, or in this case, the Glock 45 mags, will work just fine with the Axe Hatchet and any other magazines compatible to the 17 or with higher capacity. We'll take a look at the magazine release, a little more extended with the bull. We look at the trigger guard, a little bit a little bit wider, not by much, but the trigger itself, I don't have to demonstrate the Glock trigger. With the flat trigger, it breaks three and a half pounds, Glock five and a half. The texturing throughout, we'll look at the slide serrations with the Glock versus the Axe Hatchet. You'll see the difference. Steel sights, polymer sights, polymer guide rod, steel guide rod. And overall, I just believe this is a better gun. Everything that you would add Additionally, to a Glock is already installed on the Axe full-size hatchet. Now, you're wondering, what is the MSRP? Well, let's also compare that to Glock because this is right around upper 500s, lower 600s, somewhere in there. This has an MSRP of $620. You have to do nothing, literally nothing. To this to get it to what many people pay well over a thousand dollars for a souped up accessorized Glock. Glock does hold the industry standard on aftermarket support. There's no doubt about that. This thing is ready to go out of the case with an MSRP of $620. I like that slide cut out right there. I think it looks cool. The cycling's probably a little bit quicker because it's a bit of a lightning cut. Let's go ahead and disassemble the Axe FS hatchet. It's Gen 3 Glock compatible. All right, so a lot of the aftermarket accessories will work. I don't know why you would have to add much to it, but there's a look at the slide. Captured steel recoil spring. 4.49 inch barrel labeled well, the camera will pick that up axe hatchet right there or nine millimeter hatchet it says but people have asked me are you going to review the bull armory tomahawk the tomahawk has been discontinued and the cleaver was replaced by the hatchet this is a gen 2 axe hatchet called the fs hatchet for full size but it is a gen 2 model it was released earlier this year one pound nine and a quarter ounces just ounces puts it right at 25 and a quarter here are 17 rounds 32 and 3 eighths a carry round you're looking at 32 and 7 eighths so approximately 33 ounces loaded if we took get out of here 5.7 round if we take the the Glock we're looking at 32 and 3 quarters so a quarter ounce lighter with the 4 inch barrel compared to the 4.49 inch barrel with the Axe FS 
hatchet. Love what it offers. Love everything about it, to be honest with you. I love the grip texturing, the grip angle. 1911s just work well for me. I love shooting 1911s, and I like the grip angle. I like it that it's a direct mount with an RMR. It doesn't need plates, and it does come with a optic cover. You remove that. You have a direct mount with RMR. That trigger is super cool. Nice trigger break right at three and a half pounds with a reset that's very short. I think it, it functions fine at the range of full pick rail. The grip uh, is nice. The texturing around here is nice for those press checks. And it is what I considered not just an updated Glock, but a superior Glock. I think it's, it's pretty phenomenal. I'm super happy to have it, and I hope you enjoyed this review. I certainly enjoyed making it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.